is a dance that was traditionally performed by the women at the Michaelmas Hiring Fair, which happened in late September. It starts with uh, a bar B minor, and then you're moving up to a kind of G, which is not where you'd normally play G, it's a sort of C chord on top of a bar. So you're going from B minor, change it to this G, little finger on top, and then you're going to play another B minor with a D note at 10th fret and then you're going to change your chord to this chord is a, an F sharp minor at, so it's a bar at 10th fret, it's the shape of A minor on top and that changes really quick to a sort of G and it's got, you can see this, it's got your first finger at fret 10 on string 5 and then they're both on 12 you've got that, comes back down to a B minor and then another of those G's, and then it's going to go quite high. You're going to go 14th with your little finger, and you play a bar at 10th, and you're going to play a chord on top, and then it's going to go even higher. You're going to start off with first finger at 12, third finger at 14, and then you move that little finger right up all the way to... Where are we now? 50, 16, 12, can't even count the frets were so high. 50, 16, it's going to be fret 17. And you're going to put a bar down at 14, come off to 14, and that's a sort of F sharp minor. Think of F sharp minor, it's just the top half of that. Then it comes down to a sort of bit of an A, and then you back down to B minor. Back up to 14th fret. And while you're at, uh, up there, you need to add on these two notes here, which will give you a kind of F sharp minor. Slide that finger down and add on some notes underneath, which give you a sort of A. And then you've got that kind of G, an F sharp minor, and finishing off on a B minor. In the second part of the tune, you're in more familiar territory. You're playing a proper B minor, and then you're going to use your little finger to play two notes. It doesn't look very correct as far as classical gu guitar technique is concerned, but it's the easiest way to do it. Fifth, seventh, like this. After that, go to an F sharp minor. So it's like this. Slowly. You've got that nailed, once you've done that, go, big stretch, 7th and 5th, uh, sorry, yeah, 7th and 3rd fret, and then a kind of very medieval sounding chord here, you've got a unison B here, and then you do a kind of similar thing again, I'll just recap, you've got this. This time, same B minor, onto the bar, put your little finger on fifth, and now do that same stretch again. We've talked about this already. It's got third and seventh, and do a bit of a finger pick underneath to just fill your time in. And then it's back down to the B minor. And you finish off the phrase by going. Boom. 
the end there, I've just added a couple of notes on because you've got a big long B like that. And folk players generally, they can't leave a note alone. They've always got to fiddle about it, add a trill or something. So I've just gone just to finish it off. So that's Shulinini. Thank you.